they see their kid as a competition they see their kid as a rival yeah so you know uh, you really don't need enemies when you have narcissistic parents yeah they are really messed up individuals and you know they will go to any extent yeah to make themselves feel good even if it is you know hurting you or if it is ruining you that is you know not a concern for them hey everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about you know uh, the bizarre reasons why narcissistic parents you know or narcissists you know decide to have children and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so narcissistic individuals are self-centered individuals extreme sense of entitlement inability to self-reflect they lack empathy some of them can fake empathy as well and that's basically to you know dig into your vulnerabilities and use it against you yeah, to control you to manipulate you to exploit you and to abuse you so narcissistic individuals are self-centered extreme sense of entitlement they are you know always right they need to be the center of the universe they you know need all that attention admiration and the good thing that is out there yeah good things are just for them and not for the others yeah others need to improvise others need to learn from them yeah? and not the other way around yeah so narcissistic individuals you know choose to become parent for a lot of you know weird and unusual and bizarre reasons yeah and i'm going to talk about all those bizarre reasons today in this video so you know narcissistic you know uh, individuals you know decide to have children you know because they seek admiration and attention yeah and you know because of that hunger and craving for attention and admiration they decide to become parent yeah narcissists you know crave attention admiration and becoming a parent can you know provide a steady source of you know both yeah and you know they might enjoy you know the compliments the praise they receive for their parenting skills yeah regardless of their actual abilities yeah i mean no one is coming you know um, to your house and you know they are you know witnessing how the narcissistic parent is you know mistreating you or abusing you everybody is buying you know the version that they are projecting on the outside yeah so you know uh, everybody is just you know uh, seeing them i mean the narcissistic individual as a very good parent caring parent yeah they are so loving so caring towards their children and you know they keep bagging in all those compliments appreciation good words and you know it it makes them feel good yeah it it you know in a way feeds their ego yeah i'm a good parent yeah so and so person really liked the way how i you know treat my kids yeah but i treat my kids in a specific way in front of the others and in private you know space i treat them the other way which is a very horrible toxic and abusive way yeah but people you know don't get to see that so yes i mean one of the reasons why narcissistic individuals choose to become parent is you know because they seek attention and admiration the other reason why narcissists you know decide to have children is you know to extend their legacy so narcissists often have a grandiose you know sense of self importance and you know might see having children as a way to extend their legacy they may believe that their offspring will carry on their superior traits and achievements yeah so you know there will be someone you know who will be you know praising them who will be talking you know uh, about them someone you know who will be carrying you know forward their legacy yeah their grandiose image you know their you know goodness how amazing they were you know people will be talking about it people will be carrying forward you know that history yeah i mean the narcissistic parents you know image the narcissistic parents legacy yeah kids will be you know carrying forward that legacy my mother was this and this my father was this and that but i mean we know how things are on the inside yeah behind closed doors yeah but these narcissistic you know individuals you know perceive and view things in a different way yeah they see their kids as agents yeah who would be carrying on you know their legacy and you know of course 
every narcissistic parent wants a son son is like a trophy of prized possession of course i'm going to manipulate the son i'm going to exploit abuse the son brainwash the son and you know uh, cripple him emotionally but you know my son will be you know the one who will be you know uh, uh, carrying forward the family legacy yeah my legacy and that legacy is nothing more than trauma emotional abuse exploitation and mistreatment that legacy is not you know uh, family wealth that legacy is not you know good name that legacy is nothing good yeah the legacy what the kids actually you know carry forward is traumatic is toxic is painful the other reason why narcissistic individuals decide to have children is you know because they want to control and manipulate people yeah so you know the best way is to have children you know someone you know with the same genetic makeup yeah children can you know be seen as easy target for control and manipulation yeah they get to control and manipulate you from an early age they are able to mold you you know into whatever shape form they want yeah and you know kids have no other option we don't get to choose our parents yeah so you know we learn to shape shift we learn to modify optimize and suit their needs wants and requirement so you know narcissists may relish the power they have over their children and use them to fulfill their own needs and desire yeah so you know using their kids as supply sources you know you know individuals whom they can control and manipulate and get whatever they want yeah i mean toys you can say like pets that's it yeah they don't see their kids you know the way how healthy parents view their kids they see their kids as an extension of themselves and i can do anything with them i will tell them how they need to think about things how they need to do things and what should be their priority what should be their goal yeah in life and everything circles around them yeah they should prioritize me their goal should be you know uh, to please me to make me feel good as a parent and that's it yeah. the other reason why narcissists choose to have children is you know uh, because they want to fill a void narcissists might have deep seated emptiness or void within themselves and they believe children can fill yeah and you know they might think that having a child will provide them with unconditional love and validation so, so narcissistic individuals have this void and you know they are unable to overcome that void because they lack empathy they have inability to self reflect they think they are righteous they know it all so you know they can never go inside and do the work and work on that void and you know you know fill that void yeah they want external things external sources external you know uh, subjects to you know uh, fill that void they don't want to do the dirty work yeah they don't want to do the painful work they want others to come and make them feel good they want others to come and fill the void and what best way than having your own children yeah and you know uh, kids are like permanent source of supply so whatever i lack whatever i'm missing it's okay i'll harvest it out of the child the other reason why narcissistic individuals choose to have children is you know because they want to enhance their social status so in some cases having children can enhance a narcissist's social status they might use their children to project an image of a perfect family and gain social recognition and approval yeah i mean in front of the others you know they can say oh i have got a big family my daughter loves me so much my son loves me so much and you know of course they are training you they are conditioning you to be a loyal dedicated servants yeah and you know when others witness that they are like oh my god they are so obedient the children respect their mother and father but we know that is out of fear yeah uh, kids are threatened kids are abused and kids are scared yeah kids are given ultimatums and that's how you know they are able to you know uh, make their kids behave a certain way in front of the others yeah others perceive it in a different way but we know what the truth is we know what the reality is yeah uh, you, there is a lot of manipulation mistreatment abuse exploitation yeah behind all that you know respect and honor yeah that others get to see oh he respects her so much oh she respects her father so much yeah but it's not out of love 
it's out of fear the other reason why narcissists choose to have children is because of competition and rivalry so narcissists often engage in competition and rivalry even with their own children yeah, they might see their children as an extension of themselves and push them to excel not for the child's benefit but to reflect well on the narcissist so narcissistic you know uh, individuals actually you know view their kids as you know uh, competition and rivalry yeah someone with whom they can compete someone you know who will always be there someone who will always you know uh, do things their way and you know they as parent you know get to compete with their own children yeah because they view their kids as an extension of themselves yeah and as a result of which you know when they see you know that their kid is doing good or when they see that their kid is good in something which they are not good at you know they bag in all the compliments yeah they you know uh, make everything about themselves you are good because we share the same gene. You are good in this because I put you in that school. You are good here because, you know, I put you through this and this and this. Yeah. So, you know, they will give you backhanded compliments. They'll, you know, uh, again, you know, uh, make everything about themselves. You know, they are going to gaslight you. They are going to tell you, you know, it's not your effort. It's not, you know, your hard work. Yeah it's because of me yeah apart from that narcissistic parents are going to compete with their own children i have seen narcissistic mothers you know seeing their daughters as competition you know if the daughter is wearing a certain dress or if the daughter is wearing a certain makeup the narcissistic mother also makes it you know her mission to try the same dress to try the same makeup yeah and this is basically to you know uh, make herself feel good yeah this is basically to you know in some ways belittle the child and tell them well this lipstick is not suiting you it suits uh, you know uh, me better than you yeah this dress is not suiting you well yeah it suits me better yeah so you know they see their kids as you know an extension of themselves with whom they can compete with whom they can do anything and you know they see their kids as someone through whom they can bag in compliments, validation, and, you know, whom they can use to show themselves as an amazing parent, yeah? So, you know, narcissistic uh, parents, you know, uh, hate competing with others, but they are very fond of competing with their own child, yeah? They see their kid as a competition. They see their kid as a rival, yeah? So, you know, uh, you really don't need enemies when you have narcissistic parents. Yeah, they are really messed up individuals and, you know, they will go to any extent yeah, to make themselves feel good. Even if it is, you know, hurting you or if it is ruining you, that is, you know, not a concern for them. Yeah. They want things out of you. They don't care about your benefit, your well-being your likes, your dislikes, mm -mm, that's none of their business, yeah? So, you know, uh, they see their kids as an extension of themselves and they will push their kids, you know, to do more and more and more, yeah? And when the kid succeeds or does better or, you know, uh, you know, uh, becomes successful, you know, they will, you know, uh, you know uh, harvest all that attention and admiration and they are going to you know uh, tell you you are where you are because of me so you know it's very complicated it's very you know uh, sick and toxic and dysfunctional when you are raised by narcissistic parents yeah so you know they don't like competing with others but narcissistic individuals are very fond of competing with their own children yeah. that is there and you know this is also one of the reasons why narcissists you know choose to you know have children yeah. because they want someone with whom they can compete yeah someone who they have created and now they can compete with and you know they are always going to be the winner and not the one that they have brought in this world yeah so you know no matter what you do you are not uh, you know uh, good enough no matter where you reach you know they are better they have seen the worst their pain is the greatest they can do things better than you. Yeah? You are not good enough. Yeah? That's the only takeaway.
Now, the other weird reason why narcissists choose to have children is, you know, because they want to avoid aging and mortality. The presence of children can give narcissists a sense of youthfulness and vitality. Yeah, they might believe that, you know, having children makes them appear younger and more vibrant, helping them deny the reality of aging and mortality. Yeah, so they have their own way of viewing things. Yeah, so having children is like an access key for, you know, avoiding aging and mortality. Yeah, I've got a big family. No, I'm not bad. I'm not, you know, a horrible person because I have a family. No, there is nothing bad in me. There is no bad side to me because I have got a big family. So yeah. narcissistic individuals have their own bizarre perception. Yeah. And they think that, you know, having children makes them look younger. Having children makes them look vibrant. Having children, you know, makes them look good. Yeah. So it, it's like an accessory. Yeah. So children, wife, husband, I mean, for these narcissistic individuals are like accessories. Yeah. That you put on and, you know, uh, it looks good. Yeah. You get to flaunt and, you know, your entire ensemble is complete and it's perfect. The other reason why narcissistic individuals choose to have children is, you know, securing care for the future. So narcissistic, you know, individuals may view children as, you know, means to secure care and support in their old age. Yeah. And, you know, uh, they might expect their children to take care of them and meet their needs when they are no longer you know, able to, you know, do so themselves. Yeah. So that is also one of the reasons why they decide to have children. They don't want the children to be free. They want the children, you know, to be, you know, dependent on them. They want their children to serve them in their old age. They don't want to do anything, you know, for themselves. They want their kids to do things for them when they are old, ailing. I get it. When you are, a, you know, a small child, you need care. When you are old, you need care. But, you know, uh, you cannot force yourself, yeah, you cannot ruin your children's life, their personal life, you know, so that, you know, uh, you get the service, you get the supply, yeah, that's not fair, they have a life of their own and, you know, you should plan things for your own self, yeah, you decided to have a child, so you did things for the child, the child, the child might have different priorities, yeah, so, you know, breeding or bringing in a child, you know, solely to secure care for your future is, you know, bad. Yeah, it, it's really, you know, unhealthy. Yeah, expecting your children to do things for you. You should plan for your old age. Okay, if they are there, okay, everybody does some bit or the other. But you should not solely bring children in this world so that they can, you know, be your crutches. They can be your wheelchair. They can be your, you know, emotional toilet and they can be your punch bag or they can be your, you know, hospice. Yeah, that's that's not right. The other reason why narcissists choose to have children is because, you know, uh, in some way or the other, they themselves are, you know, competing with their own parents. Yeah, narcissists might have, you know, unresolved issues with their own parent and, you know, uh, see having children as a way to, you know, one up them. Yeah. They might, you know, strive to be seen as better parents than their own, even if their motivations are selfish. Yeah, so they want to prove their parents wrong. The narcissist wants to, you know, show their parent that, see, I am an amazing parent. I'm a better parent than you. Yeah, it's like a competition. They are insecure individuals. And, you know, they want to show their parent that, you know, see, you know, I am treating my child better than you. Yeah, it's, it's like a, you know, reply to their parent yeah they have their own unresolved issues and you know as a result of which they make it a goal and mission to have children and then i'm going to flaunt in front of my parent and then i'm going to tell my parent you know what an amazing parent i am i am a better parent than them yeah so you know they genuinely don't care about their children's well-being yeah it's all about showing themselves in a certain way it's all about you know, reflecting themselves as good, noble, loving, caring parents. The other weird and bizarre reason why narcissists choose to have children is because they want to exploit, you know, their children's success. Yeah, they want to, you know, bask in, you know, the reflected glory of their children's success. And, you know, they want to claim all their children's success and hard work as their own. 
yeah, this is my child. If my child is successful, that means I am successful. Even though my child is flogging his ass, even, even though I give a difficult time to my child, but still, I mean, my child's success is mine and not my child's, yeah? And that's how, you know, they want to, you know, uh, be the center of attention. They will give you backhanded compliments and, you know, they'll steal the show, yeah? You are where you are because of me. You are my son and that's why you are where you are. Otherwise, look at the others, yeah? So they have their own unique ways. And, you know, they do get into parenting because they want to have children. And when, you know, if the children become successful, as it is, I mean, it, it's, it's a very rare phenomena that the children raised by narcissistic parents become successful. Yeah, they just grow up to be survivors. Very few of them thrive. Yeah? But if some, you know, of the child, you know, thrives, or grows and you know becomes successful then these narcissistic individuals are going to bag in everything if the child is looking good well is the genetics it's the food that i'm putting on table look my child is so good looking if the child is successful we know the child is you know slogging his or her ass the child is you know doing all that hard work struggling facing all the hardship and challenges but the narcissistic parent is going to take away all the credit yeah uh, the narcissistic parent is not going to validate your suffering, the challenges that you have faced and experienced. No. Instead, they are going to, uh, you know, tell you that you are successful because of them. Yeah. So narcissistic uh, individuals uh, want to, you know, exploit their children's success. Yeah. And that's the reason, you know, they want to become parent. That's the reason they want to start, you know, a family Yeah. where they can have, you know, uh, many children and if someone becomes successful bingo I'm a worthless piece of shit but uh, you know I'm going to you know take credit of my kids success and I'm going to you know project myself as a good parent the other weird and bizarre reason why narcissists choose to become parent is because they you know want to use their children as emotional supply narcissists require a constant supply of admiration and attention and children can be a reliable source of this emotional supply, providing the narcissist with the validation they crave. And they don't care, you know, how, you know, their action and behavior is, you know, uh, affecting, you know, the child. All what they're concerned about is supply, emotional supply. The kid is there and that's it. Yeah, the kid keeps admiring me. The kid keeps, you know, uh, giving me attention whenever I need that. And that's it. What the kid needs I'm not interested. I'll do the bare minimum and when I'll see that kid is ready to give me, when I will see that I'm able to harvest things out of my child, I'll start harvesting. I will not care, you know, as to how it is going to affect his adult life, her adult life. That's none of my concern. My concern is harvesting supply because I have bread for return. The other reason why narcissistic individuals choose to become parent or choose to have children is because you know they want to reenact their own childhood yeah some narcissists might try to recreate or correct their own childhood experience through their children yeah they might project their own unresolved issues onto their children and attempt to live vicariously through them yeah so you know narcissistic uh, individuals don't you know uh, start family or you know choose to have children for healthy reasons it's all you know to fill in the void it's all to harvest the supply it's all to you know uh, live uh, vicariously through the child it's all you know so that the child makes them feel better they cannot make their own selves feel better so they want someone else to make them feel better they want someone to prioritize them and and that's how they feel good that uh, i am number one priority of my child yeah whereas in it should be the other way around your priorities are this and that and that person and this person and not your child but you want your child to always prioritize you yeah if you have some unresolved you know childhood experience you don't want to you know resolve it yourself you want your children to resolve it yeah you want to reenact you want to recreate and you want to you know uh, create a version 
where you get to correct and do things and you know take charge and control i mean your mess is yours to handle yeah and not your children so you know controlling your child's childhood and you know manipulating your child and you know um uh, doing all sorts of weird things with your child in hopes of you know correcting your own childhood experience is you know being selfish is being quite self centered yeah and you know uh, your child is a separate individual your child is not you even though you have given birth to the child but that's a different individual with his own uniqueness her own uniqueness likes and dislikes yeah so you know your you know childhood issues cannot be resolved you know by having a child you need to reparent yourself you need to work on yourself and then you should start a family your child is not coming here to reparent you yeah you need to parent your child yeah your child is not here to reparent you and fix you and rewrite stories for you yeah your child is here to have a life of his own her own yeah so you know uh burdening the child with all those you know uh, things and you know trying to live through them i think that's the most selfish thing a person can do but do these narcissistic parents care the answer is no so yes these were some of the bizarre and weird reasons why narcissistic individuals you know choose to become parent and you know have children in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye